अग्निबाण अग्निबाण इज अ न्यू रॉकेट बींग डेवलप्ड बाय अ प्राइवेट प्लेयर इन इंडिया तो देखो वी हैव इसरो व्हिच हैज पीएसएलवी जीएसएलवी जीएसएलवी मार्क 3 एसएसएलवी बट इंडिया में देयर आर नॉट नॉट अ लॉट ऑफ प्राइवेट प्लेयर्स इससे पहले बिफोर अग्निबाण देयर वाज अनदर कंपनी व्हिच हैज डेवलप्ड विक्रम सीरीज ऑफ रॉकेट तो दिस इज अनदर कंपनी व्हिच इज डेवलपिंग this agniban series of rockets so for prelims we should know what is agniban it's a rocket developed by a private company agnikul cosmos it's a startup agnikul cosmos iska first test was held recently i think it was held uh, in may 2024 so uh, we were we were completing science environment of the past 2 3 months so usme this was something that was missing uh, its first test was done now for, this is a two stage rocket for uh, have we in the past have we in the past discussed what is meant by two stage rocket or three stage rocket we had i think briefly spoken about pslv we said ki pslv has four stages why do rockets need multiple stage because initially they need a very big engine very powerful engine because the force of gravity is very high but as they go up gravitational forces inversely proportional to distance from the center of earth so as we as they go up the force required by them is much lesser and thus they do not need to carry a, they do not need to burn fuel with a very big engine so they'll have another smaller engine maybe another smaller engine and another smaller engine like this so pslv has four stages for this reason there is no point that when we are at very high uh, distance from the center of earth we keep carrying this big engine so what pslv does is pslv a rocket it goes to some goes to some height and then drops this engine goes to some more height drops the second engine drops the third engine it is the fourth engine of pslv which will start revolving around earth and while it is revolving around earth it will release the satellite satellite is something that is eventually supposed to remain there rocket is the vehicle which will carry the satellite to the orbit okay so there are multiple stages required in a rocket when we will study science and technology from basics we will understand this in way more detail abhi bas i hope briefly we have understood why we need multiple stages so even this agnikul uh, rocket that is being developed uh, has two stages you will see kahin pe likha hoga it's a two stage 14 ton launch vehicle 14 ton is the weight of the rocket so it's a two stage vehicle uh, which will which will be able to carry small satellites to low earth orbit what is meant by low earth orbit when you are around earth so from a distance of 160 kilometers to 2000 kilometers if you are orbiting around earth you are in low earth orbit if you are beyond this 2000 km you are in medium earth orbit if you are at a height of 36000 km you are in geosynchronous orbit so this is low earth orbit from 2000 km to th- so let's say this is earth and at a height of 2500 km from the surface of earth the satellite is revolving that satellite light will be called in which orbit medium earth orbit aise hi the satellite at this height will be called in geosynchronous orbit beyond that it will be called high earth orbit so for a rocket what would be easiest launching satellite in low earth orbit or medium or high earth orbit low earth orbit so this is this agniban is a small rocket being developed by private sector whose focus in future would be launching small satellites where in low earth orbit to so agniban is a two stage rocket which will be capable of which will bol raha hu kyunki abhi it it's not fully developed it has two stages only its first stage has been tested to so agniban is a two stage rocket which is being developed to take small satellites into low earth orbit both stages are powered by semi cryogenic engines ab hum bhi ye to samajh liya ki it has two stages now in two stages the engines uh, that it uses jaise when we were talking about pslv 
PSLV used solid engine, liquid engine, solid and liquid. Solid, liquid, solid, liquid, PSLV used four engines like this. Solid, liquid, uh, solid uh, engine means the fuel that it used was solid. For example, coal is a solid fuel, whereas petrol is a liquid fuel. It did not use coal or petrol. It used other fuels. They say in, in, in the first stage, PSLV uses a hydroxyl terminated polybutyrene. and we don't need to need, know this. But it's a solid fuel that it uses. In the second stage, it uses unsymmetric dimethyl hydrazine. Again, you do not need to know this name. Just it's not using petrol or diesel. Understand that. It's using unsymmetric dimethyl hydrazine. Uh, it's a liquid fuel which is used in the second stage and so on. So, what, what are they using? They're using solid fuel, liquid fuel, solid fuel, liquid fuel. Isilia engine ko bol rahe, solid engine, liquid engine, solid engine, liquid engine. That is the case with PSLV. If you'll come to GSLV, GSLV is another rocket developed by ISRO. Please understand, I'm not talking about Agniban. I'm not talking about, Ag oh, sorry, I'm not talking about Agniban right now. I'm talking about PSLV. PSLV has four engines. Agniban only has two engines. We'll talk about it. But if you go to GSLV, GSLV has three engines. Uh, first is solid. Second is liquid. And third is cryogenic. Or cryogenic is also liquid only. Solid, liquid, cryogenic. GSLV vehicles, GSLV rock. PSLV rockets have four stages, four engines. GSLV rockets have three engines. First is solid fuel wala, second is liquid fuel wala, third mate has cryogenic engine. Cryogenic, cryo, cryo means very cold. Right, so cryogenic engines will use fuels which are very, very cold. It's, it's called cryogenic engine or this engine is cryogenic engine because it uses liquid hydrogenous fuel. Liquid hydrogen, hydrogen gas. Hydrogen gas otherwise is gas. Agar aap is room mein hydrogen gas release karoge, it will be a gas. If you want to convert hydrogen into liquid, you have to cool it at temperatures below minus 250 degrees Celsius. So when you have to carry liquid form of hydrogen, that has to be cooled at very very low temperatures. Aise hi, dekho, hydrogen itself will not be good enough. You will also need to carry oxygen and oxygen is also carried in liquid form. Hydrogen will burn with oxygen to produce energy, right? Coal burns in the presence of oxygen, butane burns in the presence of oxygen. Am I right? So, it uses GSLV. GSLV's third stage uses which fuel? liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen to for hydrogen to exist at liquid for oxygen to exist at liquid the temperature required is less than minus 250 degrees celsius and thus this engine is cryogenic engine so gslv uses solid liquid and cryogenic engine hum ise bhi dekho second stage mein we are saying that it's liquid engine third stage is also liquid please understand it's liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen so, cryogenic liquid engine. Is this Now, it is called cryogenic because both the things, both the fuels are, uh, sorry, both fuel and oxidizer are at very low temperature. Both hydrogen and oxygen are at, are stored at very low temperature, less than minus 250 degrees Celsius. If we had used, instead of hydrogen, if we had used, let's say, kerosene. Kerosene, we know what kerosene is. Kerosene is liquid at room temperature. Kerosene is liquid at room temperature. Right. But isko bhi burn karne ke liye you will need to carry oxygen. That you will have to keep at very low temperature. Minus 250 degrees Celsius. So if our engine was this where what was used? Kerosene which does not need to be cooled to be stored in liquid. And oxygen which needs to be cooled. To be stored in the form of liquid. Then this engine would have been called semi-cryogenic engine. Semi kyo? Because only one of the fuel, not the ox uh, sorry, uh, only the oxidizer, that is oxygen, not the fuel has to be kept at very low temperature. Fuel is kept at what temperature? Normal room temperature. So that this engine is semi-cryogenic engine. Did we understand? Solid engine, sub-solid mein hai. Liquid engine, sub-liquid mein hai. Cryogenic engine. Sub liquid mein hai, but 
for keeping hydrogen and oxygen at liquid, what needs to happen? Very low temperature is needed. And when a very low temperature is needed, cryogenic situation is achieved. That's why the engine is called cryogenic engine. And when we use kerosene, kerosene ka ek purified form uh, isro use karta hai, that is called isrocene. When we use isrocene, kerosene ka ek purified form, which isro calls isrocene, plus liquid oxygen. Liquid oxygen will be at very low temperature. That engine will be called semi cryogenic engine. That engine will be called semi cryogenic engine. ISRO is in the process of developing a semi cryogenic engine. We'll talk more about this in January. January may when we start for target films the first topic that we'll start with will be science and technology I'll be teaching science and technology from basics every aspect of it I'll spend one hour only on understanding rocket engines and all but here because we were saying that Agni Baan is a two stage a vehicle designed to lift small satellite to low earth orbit both stages iske both stages both first stage and second stage of Agni Baan are what semi cryogenic engines now you understand ki why i was trying to help you understand what is meant by semi cryogenic of this rocket of agni baan rocket both the stages are semi cryogenic engine got it are we comfortable are we comfortable here now uh, now please understand many of the components of the rocket including the engine are 3D printed and the startups say that it will be able to build one rocket a month. That is because it's using 3D, 3D printing for developing many components. It will be able to develop rockets at a very fast rate. Uh, this test was a minimal test. Why minimal test? Because uh, not the full rocket was tested. Only the first stage was tested. But as it and as in future, this startup is able to develop its own rocket and is able to launch its own satellite. India ka private sectors participation in space sector will grow which will help us go for better commercialization and better development because private sector comes up with its own efficiency its own uh, advantages right so those advantages would come into play but in preliminary examination you may be asked agni ban kya hai it's a rocket what is its purpose what was who has developed it uh, the features of agni ban those kind of things you should all be able to answer them whether it's a, 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 a it has two stages which kind of solid hai liquid hai ya cryogenic hai semi cryogenic hai those kind of questions may get asked i hope not only will you be able to answer it factually but you also understand the uh, concept behind cryogenic engine semi cryogenic engine and those aspects